everybody and welcome to today's video. So I'm in my kitchen that's surrounded by my food shopping because I thought I would do an hour days at grocery shop of what I get for a week's worth of shopping for two people. So this is for me and my partner. Um, I hope you can see me as well. Like I'm so far away from the camera that I can't even tell if I'm blurry or not. So I thought I would just show you yeah, what we get for a week's worth of shopping. We usually go between either Aldi's or Tesco's. It's always one or the other. Um, and I just thought it'd be interesting to show you what we get for a week's worth of shopping. This obviously includes things that we might already have. Um, so I work shifts, which means I could be home during the week or I could be more not at home during the week. It means a lot of evenings I might not actually be home. Um, so when I'm doing a 14 day for work, I usually buy food when I'm at work because that's obviously my break as well. Um, so yeah, here is most of the stuff. Anthony usually works day shifts, so he's always home for night. And I thought I would just show you what two people eat in a week. So here's an overview of everything that we pick up in a week. I have as well already um, eaten a few things because <laughs> I actually did my food shopping yesterday, so a few things were already open. So here I am with Troy watching me, and that is because I've just got his treats out. Cause the first thing is Troy's food so we always get him these because these literally take him ages to chew through um so for treats for him we're getting them and these again they take him a while to chew through and obviously he got his dog food as well he's not a picky dog he'll literally have any dog food to go in so for my frozen food i just get the chicken goujons i pretty much get these nearly every week because they're easy to put for a tea either with chips or you know even with potatoes and carrots um, and a sandwich and then I just got some chips as well because we needed to stock up not bothered with any chips already opened them last night so then we've got this was actually in the middle aisles because it is a Coleman's we love casserole with sausage or chicken and these are always cheaper when you find them in Aldi so we picked up that love this golden rice is literally my favourite because me neither me or Anthony like sweet corn and this is like the only one I know that doesn't have sweet corn so I've actually got two Two of them, and they always taste much better as well, I think, when you actually have to add water to them rather than just microwaving them. So Anthony likes the picky bits to eat every now and again. They go into his dinner, so he's got a tea slice, his egg mayonnaise as well for his pack-ups, and then a little treat for myself, obviously strawberry laces. I love the sour one. So I've got an apple and banana for fruit because, well, I'll be honest, it's the only fruit we eat weekly. Charlotte potatoes for some reason were half price, so I picked up them. I like my baby potatoes more anyway, but I do eat quite a lot of potatoes during the week with literally anything. I got a normal just pasta sauce, bread that's already been opened. And then for my meat here, I've got some Cumberland sausages. So this pack is a pack of six, I believe. Um, so that does mean Anthony filled probably the sausage casserole dish. And then I also saw this for the first time. This is the Chinese chicken stir fry. Now this is serves two people and I'm very excited. So you get your seasoned chicken in there. And then you get the peppers and onions and spring onions. I love spring onions, they just look delicious to me. Um, yeah, the photo has rice on it and it's got a sauce which is soy sauce I believe for this i'm really excited to actually cook this so also for me we've got meatballs whenever i get anything beef we always go for the five percent fat because that's the lowest one you can get um but yeah meatballs is usually always a good good call and we have pasta already and um we also have a garlic bread chicken that's already open so i used half of it up last night so i'm going to have to use the other half quickly but we get the mini mini breast fillets um 1.99 for that and that feed like four meals that because me and Anthony had one half last night and then there's still another half there so 1.99 for four meals this chicken's so much better this one's jumping up at me my cereal not the healthiest but honestly it's delicious <laughs> and then for drinks i have got my peach juice I'm not fussy about juice, like, I like peach juice, 
Anthony, it has to be Robinson's up and black so I need to get Tesco's for him. Um, just a milk, small one, because I mainly have it just for coffees. This is just like a little treat. I'll probably drink it today. But they've changed the packaging of it and it looks so much nicer. And then another little treat was just the chocolate fudge uh, milkshake, which is delicious. So I've got my receipt here with everything on it. Literally, the most expensive thing was the Chinese chicken. And I'm not even mad, like, that's obviously. But that means the only the expensive thing is only 2 39 so it's not bad at all. So that whole shop came to £26.36, which anything under 30 quid is obviously really good for a weekly shopping for two people and a dog. Because <laughs> obviously his food and treats also quite a bit add up. Yeah, so Troy's food altogether comes to about £4 with his treats. So obviously that taken off that means only £22 actually for two humans. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's a couple of things I always go to Tesco's for as well weekly. And that would be juice. Um, I went and got some paracetamols and hair shampoo and conditioner. I literally just go for like the household things usually. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week for a brand new video. Bye.